Hello everyone, my name is Quadi and welcome to a quick video about Ayaton Sculptures, the best source of endo for starters and veterans alike. If you for some reason don't know what to do with the Ayaton Sculptures, you may fill them with Ayaton Stars at the mod station, there should be an icon in the upper right corner, you need to fill them up and then go to Maru's Bazaar at Mars and ask Maru to extract endo from them. This way you will get a lot of endo. There is 10 Ayaton sculptures in total, varying in amount of endo they give when filled with Ayaton stars. If you are not sure how to get Ayaton stars, there is a video in the upper right corner right now, but now let's continue on how to get sculptures. First, let's look at the weekly Ayaton hunt. You may find it in the alert section on the star chart. The mission is always the same, going into an Oracan vault and finding an Ayaton sculpture. It is marked, so getting it should not be a problem. The second way to get Ayaton sculptures is arbitrations. This is absolutely the best way to get massive amounts of endo. If you don't know what they are, again, there is a link in the upper right corner, but to keep it quick, by unlocking all the nodes on the star chart, the blue flashing ones, turning them into the white ones, you unlock arbitrations, which you can find in the same place as the weekly Ayaton hunt, the alerts. Arbitrations are endless missions in which you have only one life if playing solo and multiple if playing in a squad, but reviving is much harder. Besides that, they work the same way as any other mission, just with different rewards consisting of endo. This is the best way to get endo for real. You may also use Vita Essence, a resource dropped from the arbitrations, to buy the arbitration exclusive Zambuka Ayaton sculpture, which should be more of a flex item and shouldn't be used for endo or something like that. For real, keep the Vita Essence and waste it on Rivens or Kuva. The third way to get Ayaton sculptures is from normal missions. You may find them anywhere on the map, but chance of them spawning is only 10%, so chances of finding them is very low, of course, if you are not hunting them. What you need to do is try to destroy every single crate since Ayaton sculptures can be seen on the map as one. I myself suggest you to try and look for them in the Syndicate missions while looking for the medallions. There is even a specific build people love to use to hunt Ayaton sculptures in normal missions for Warframe Zaku, the crate breaking build. This build is very expensive and doing arbitrations should be a go-to at this point for Ayaton sculptures, but some people just want to do it this way, so yeah, if you want this build, go to the upper right corner, there should be a video of it. To keep it very quick though, the Zaku's build is based on range and efficiency. You destroy a massive amount of crates by casting the fourth ability and then by subsuming max first ability pull and getting on the augment greedy pool, you get probably the best warframe for farming pretty much anything that contains resources from container, for real. This build again is very expensive and it gets boring pretty soon, so yeah, I myself do not suggest it. By this point I also should mention that Oestros on Iris is probably the best place to get the Aton sculptures in normal missions. The area is very small and you can just go out and there's no consequences. So yeah, it is pretty good. But that is really it what I wanted to talk about for the third way, so let's go to the fourth one. You may get one Aton sculpture for 50k standing with the Necroloid Syndicate, which is quite a good investment if you ask me. If you like to destroy Necromex, a major turnoff for many people. But now let's go to the last way of getting item sculptures, sorties. With it you may get sortie exclusive Anasa sculptures, which are quite nice to look at actually. They're also quite easy to get, so it is quite good. That is actually it, I hope this helped you at least a little bit for real. If you want to get massive amounts of endo, just do the arbitrations. You will get about 15,000 per hour if going 5 minutes per rotation. On average about 8,426.5 endo in half an hour statistically. I even used a calculator for this one. I'm so freaking smart. So yeah, that's it. I hope this helped you at least a little bit. I know it is quite hard to get endo, but for real, you will need to farm it only for the primed and umbra mods, plus maybe some railjack ones. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe. And also, have a nice day. Bye, guys.